I did work for the Hudson Institute. And the Manhattan Institute? Yes. And now the Heritage Foundation? Yes, yes. And every single one of those groups is funded by the fossil fuel industry. Is that not true? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the benefit of being able to rely on a family fortune made in the Minnesota gas business or having my spouse's family fortune come from United Gas. And the Heritage Foundation is a club that anyone can join, not just white people. Dr. Furtgott Roth, welcome to back to hearings with me. Um, as you know, you're a frequent flyer here in the halls of Congress, and um, I think always called by the Republican side, and with an astonishing range of expertise. Uh, my review of your testimonies is that you've testified on subjects as diverse as uh, the capital gains tax, the challenges of the 21st century workplace, Chief Justice Roberts' record on women's rights, education reform, the Paycheck Fairness Act, residency and right to work issues, medical bankruptcy reform, Samoan fisheries subsidies, mm -hmm. the gender pay gap, a balanced budget amendment, that the Affordable Care Act would lead to high unemployment rates, that to help older workers find jobs, we should roll back the Affordable Care Act, eliminate EPA regulations on coal and approve the Keystone XL pipeline, on sequestration, on health insurance, on taxation, on empowerment in the workplace, on job vacancies, on the American Rescue Plan telling employees not to show up for work, and on a range of climate-related issues. Is that a pretty fair summary of the breadth of your testimony across uh, various congressional committees? Yes, I'm fortunate to have uh, been able to write six books, um, hundreds of articles. I've been chief economist of the Labor Department, the equivalent of chief economist of the Treasury Department, and uh, chief of staff of the Council of Economic Advisors. Yeah, so I've had a lot your, of experience. That's in your resume. And you yes, and, uh, worked uh, before for the American Petroleum Institute, is that correct? Four years at the American Petroleum Institute, but and unfortunately- then you worked at the American Enterprise Institute, is that correct? Uh, yes. And then the Hudson Institute? I did work for the Hudson Institute. And the Manhattan Institute? Yes. And now the Heritage Foundation? Yes, yes. And every single one of those groups is funded by the fossil fuel industry. Is that not true? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the benefit of being able to rely on a family fortune made in the Minnesota gas business or having my spouse's family fortune come from United Gas. And the Heritage Foundation is a club that anyone can join, not just white people. During 2021, it had hundreds of thousands of individual foundation and corporate supporters representing every state in the United States. Do you know how much funding it received from the oil and gas uh, Baron Coke Industries political top, operation? Uh, the top five corporate givers provided the Heritage Foundation with only 1% of its 2021 income. Individuals contributed 82%, foundations 12%, corporations 1%, program revenue and other income, 5%. There well, are the answer is that it's over $5 million from the Koch, uh, Koch's various foundations since 1996, uh, from Donors Trust and Donors Capital Fund, which are the great pass-throughs for the fossil fuel industry to obscure uh, their role. Uh, Heritage has received over $2 million. It's received nearly three quarters of a million dollars from Exxon since 1998. In 2019, Heritage reported on its tax return that its various direct mail, telemarketing, and fundraising efforts were responsible for 19 of the $117 million it received. Can you explain where the other $98 million came from? As I said, we have hundreds of thousands of individual donors, and I have been writing, as you point out, the same things throughout all my career as a professional economist uh, beginning in 1985. And what I write doesn't depend on where I work. You wrote, for instance, in a Forbes column last year that renewables actually increase global emissions. Do you stand by that comment? Uh, yes, because they are made with coal-fired power plants in China. I did explain that if renewables uh, were, uh, the wind turbines and solar panels are made, and batteries are made with coal-fired power plants in China. I did explain that if these were made with emissions-free energy, such as nuclear power, uh, then the benefits to the environment would be much greater. But many environmentalists who are in favor of renewables are against dense emission nuclear power, uh, and therefore 
making these renewables often raises emissions. In addition to stating that renewables actually increase global emissions, have you also agreed uh, that recent data, and I quote here, calls into question the conclusion that humans are the dominant cause of recent climate change? Uh, I'm an economist, uh, not a scientist. Well, you wrote that for a Wall Street Journal opinion piece in 2015. Yeah, well, scientists... You stand by it here today in 2023. Uh, yes, scientists okay. disagree on uh, the human uh, component of uh, okay. global warming and uh, in this book, Unsettled by Steve Coonan, who was under Secretary of Energy under President Obama and who uh, taught for 30 years at Caltech and has a PhD in physics from MIT. Uh, he says that it is uncertain how much human activity affects global warming. The case is unsettled. And I'm no better scientist than he is. Well... Thank you very much. It's notable that that is the position that the Republican Party intends to stand by.